Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and in this video we are going to learn how to generate a box plot using matplotlib then cbond and we will also generate a box end plot which is the extended version of the box plot with additional details using cbond library and we will try to position them into a grid form using the subplots uh, okay so that will be very helpful when we want to generate a 4x4 uh, grid of the plots or a 16 by 16 plot grid. Uh, it is very much uh, required where uh, usually very much useful for publication purpose like when you are, would like to compare multiple plots together and uh, before we start we need to uh, import certain libraries here uh, I'm importing the numpy libraries as np and as a speedy then matplotlib.py plot as plt and cbond as sns. And if you haven't installed those libraries, first you install them and then import those libraries into the Python environment. So let's import them. Once it's imported, uh, let's talk about why do we need a box plot and what, what is the use of box plot. So box or whisker plot is called a uh, or box plot uh, in short form. It, it provides a five number summary, like the uh, minimum value, then first quartile or 25th percentile, median 50th percentile, third quartile that is 75th percentile and maximum value. And it also shows the relationship between a, uh, it is basically used to show the relationship between a numerical and a categorical variable. So let's say for a particular categorical column, you can uh, plot the categories in x-axis and their distribution in the y-axis. And here we will uh, create a two by two grid, two rows and two columns, and we'll generate each plot. Uh, we'll learn how to uh, generate them and we will place that particular grid of our choice. So that way you can also position as per your requirement in a particular grid. So in the whole series, we are using the stiffs data set. So here I'm also using the same data set and uh, the, the data set I kept into a uh, folder called data sets. Uh, and the data set name is tips.csv. So I'm reading this using the pandas read underscore csv and printing the first five observations using head method. So this data set is a uh, data set related to restaurant visit where the group has, uh, what is the total amount paid by the, or uh, total bill paid by the group, what is the tip amount, what is the, whether, whether the uh, uh, tips paid by a female or male, that is a sex column and smoker status, no or yes, then what is the daytime, when they, what day they have visited the restaurant, whether it's for dinner or lunch time here, and this size is the group size. So here our objective is to see the distribution uh, using this box plot, see the distribution of the tips over the different days. Okay, so what is the distribution? So in directly for in a mat using matplotlib, you can you can't directly feed the data frame and get get the plot. You have to make some transformation of the data so that it is acceptable by the plotting function or method. So here first. Uh, uh, first what we need to do from the tips we have to take out the index and we we, we have to create a new column dot id and here i'm adding this such id column inside the tips data set next we have to use this uh, from use this such a pivot method and we have to apply over the tips tips dot using the tips dot pivot and that uh, and inside that such method you have to provide the index equal to id the new id column so this id column or index is the unique numbers like this these are the uh, index okay next uh, after index equal to id column then we have to provide what would be in the column so column should be day so each category of the day should be a particular column uh, and the values of this those columns will be taken from the tip column okay so the day whatever the categories it contains like sunday saturday it should be a particular specific or independent column and the values for the column will be column will be will be taken from uh tips which you call it, or tip column okay and if we uh, and we are saving this in data underscore day and if you print that now you can see that the id are uh, in a row index and day uh, different days or uh, the day column whatever the categories it contain they are in a a column okay and each column has values some has none uh, why this is uh, why some are none let me discuss that so it is actually like dummy coding in machine learning uh, or dummy coding is popularly used for uh, the categorical to pre-process the categorical variable and to prepare the categorical uh, variable for the machine learning uh, model okay so here in dummy coding what happened it creates uh, the column for each day 
type okay or each day whatever the day column contains different categories the unique categories okay so the day column contains friday saturday sunday and thursday unique categories those are now column and their values are taken from this is tips column tip column okay so for first case if you see it is a sunday and the tip was 1.01 so in the result in sunday the tip was 1.01 and rest are none rest are none actually okay Similarly, somewhere uh, it the Saturday will be uh, Saturday uh, the, uh, the day will be Saturday and the value corresponding to tip will be in Saturday column and rest are such name. So in this way we have this format and this format is accepted by uh, C uh, Matplotlib. So next what we have to do we have to create a list of these columns okay uh, by dropping the NA values. So in a list in the data day. First, we are taking out the Friday column and dropping the any values similarly for Saturday, Sunday, and Thursday. And then we are saving it into a list L. Okay. So let's run this. And this list of these columns, after removing the any values, this list is accepted by mat, uh, matplotlib. And using this, we can generate the plot. Okay. So first to generate the plot, we have to generate a subplots. Okay. So basically, uh, I, uh, I I will show here that how to generate a grid, two by two grid, two rows and two columns. Okay. And this grid will be uh, used to impose whatever the plot we will generate next. Okay. We'll position uh, position those plots in particular position as per our requirement or as per your wish. You can also do that. So we have to use the plt dot subplots and figure size will be sixteen by twelve, sixteen width uh, and twelve here. Uh, the height in inches, the number of rows two, number of columns two, because we want to generate a two by two grid. Then share x true, so that whatever the labels uh, uh, shared in a or x axis label should be common, because repeating same thing, uh, uh, we don't require actually that because it will uh, uh, it will uh, make it, uh, it it will be repetitive actually in the plot. So uh, providing x axis with labels in for every plot is not required. Only at bottom position the x uh, x x axis labels will be uh, enough. So here that's why I'm providing here share x is true. And now if I enter, then now you can see that we have two by two grid. So what would be the position? It, it actually returning us two objects and we are saving this in figure and axis. It it returning this uh, plot. So what would be when we want to impose the impose a particular plot, we need to have uh, the uh, position or coordinates like it is row as Python is zero index based. So this position will be zero zero. That means row zero column zero. This position will be row zero column one. Similarly, this will be row one column zero and this will be row one column one okay so this index values we need those index values and we have to supply during imposing the plots okay just remember that so next we will generate this box plots at position zero zero so whatever the plot next will generate we will position it to this first position zero zero that is in there that is row zero column zero okay and remember python is zero index base so always it starts with zero now whether it's row or whether it's column so first we want to impose the first box plot that we will generate using the matplotlib to this position 00. So here that's why we are providing over axis 00. So in, over the axis at 00 position we want to impose the plot using the dot box plot method from axis object. Okay. And here we are providing whatever different arguments we have to provide. The first argument is the list of that data L that we have generated here. Okay. L. Next, we want to create a horizontal uh, box plot. So vertical VRT is vertical. It is false. The widths are 0 0.3. The labels are uh, in this order, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Thursday. Then show means I would like to show the mean value. Uh, and that is true. And show caps true. Show caps is the end of the whisk here. There is a uh, little bit of uh, line. That is the end of the, at the end of the whisk here. Then show flyers true, show the outlier which is beyond the cap. Okay, it will show the uh, outliers. Then which care, uh, we will also set certain properties using the dictionary function. So which care is a properties, dictionary. The which care line we would like to be in dash, so in dictionary line style equal to dash. Then flyer properties, that is the outlier that uh, above the uh, cap. Okay, so 
using dictionary marker should be zero so it should be a hollow type of circle then marker size 10 and marker edge color is blue and median props so what would what would be the uh, how the median will be shown so median uh, we are also providing using this dictionary so line style will be solid and line width, width will be three and if we print the figure now you can see that in first position is it has been added okay and you can see we have provided the share x equal to true so the uh, x axis uh, labels are provided at the bottom okay not here because they are common rep uh, repeating the same value uh, does not provide additional information it will just clutter the plot so that's why i, I have added the share x equal to true and now you can see that the mean this triangle uh, green is mean and these are the outlier you can uh, use uh, we have added the property uh, to uh, uh, like marker is color blue and size 10 and marker is over and median this is the median line or 50th percentile for each and you can see that for each column that thursday sunday saturday and friday there is a box plot okay i hope now you understand what we are going to achieve using uh, the above code why uh, we did the pre-processing part next we will do some customization okay first we will remove this top line and this right line this, those are called spines okay using a for loop so we will loop through the top and right uh, this strings li list of strings top and right and we'll loop through and uh, save in a temporary variable s then we will want to remove it from zero zero the plot which is located in zero zero index so x is zero zero and spines we will access the spines and provide this s first this s will be top then it will be right and set the visibility to false using set visible method next we will also uh, uh, modify the ticks and uh, ticks levels and uh, access levels and legends so at axis 00, zero tick parameters size we will increase it to 80 using level size then we will set the x level to tip and size will be 20 and we will set a title day wise tip matplotlib okay and size is 22 and position of that should, uh, i want to position the title here bottom of that plot okay that's why i'm setting the y equal to minus 0 0.1 and padding is minus 14. similarly uh, you can also play with that uh, to position where you would like to position position the title then I'm also setting the tick levels, the tick levels 2, 4, 6, 8, 0, 10, 0. Uh, so you can also customize that. I, I, I'm setting here the tick level 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. You can also do it at interval 1 or interval 3 as per your requirement. Okay. And also I'm calling the legend. So it will show the legend. Okay. But it will not show the legend because we are not giving any color, uh, any categorical variable to color. Okay, so that will uh, that would create a problem. I will show. Uh, so let's print the figure. Now you can see that uh, the top and right spines are gone. Then uh, uh, also a title has been added here at the bottom, and tips and uh, a label has been added x in x axis you can also add a label in the y axis but i uh, i thought it's not required because uh, information is already provided you can also add that and we have also called the legend method but you can see here is just a small box and legend is missing instead of providing legend because we are not grouping here uh, the uh, this box plot based on say sex like male box plot female box plot you, you can plot for each day a male female box plot and color into uh, different provide a different color and based on this color category you can also add a legend here we we don't have that so what we can do we can customize a legend and add a legend for, uh, just to show that this uh, orange line is median and this uh, green triangle is for uh, mean so those are indicators one for uh, this green a triangle is for mean and this orange uh, line is for median that we can add in the legend portion to just to show that which one is mean which one is which median okay so next uh, we will do that how to add those such a legend so even though legend is not available uh, directly th through the plotting mechanism you can directly uh, you can create your or your custom legend and add that to a particular plot to do that from matplotlib.lines we will import the line 2d first we'll add the line median line we will first have to define what this median line will be look like 
okay so we'll call this line 2d and provide this first and second argument that that are not required for x and y uh, data okay and next we'll provide the color here in the uh, hash form and then label median and marker size 18 okay and then we will uh, after generating after defining this median line we will generate the green triangle here again same line to the method only difference here we will add a marker here that is in triangular shape okay and line style will be none because it's not a line it is a triangle marker size 18 and label here mean okay now once we have generated this uh, median how it look like and the green triangle how it look like uh, we have to impose that and add that into the legend how we'll do that we want to add to the uh, first plot at 00, 0 position this legend so we are accessing the 00, 0 uh, index the plot and we are using this legend method and here it take you have to provide those values inside the handles okay so it has a handles argument where we are we are providing this l median and green triangle as a list this two legend and location would be lower center number of column whether you are want to be in single column or in, in in a row form in horizontal form you can also do that so i am providing i am providing n column option as one okay and font size is 16 and then what we want to do we want to do uh, instead of thursday sunday saturday friday i want to do it uh, i want to flip this axis like from friday saturday sunday and thursday from top to bottom it should be so just want to reverse this Friday would be at the top, then Saturday, okay, then Sunday, then here Thursday. So to do that, you can you have to use this invert y axis. And if you now call this, you can see that the axis has been inverted, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday. And we have also added this legend. Okay. So mean this orange is me median and this um, uh, triangle is mean. Now you it is clearly defined that which one is mean and which one is a median okay so you can also customize your own such a legend uh, properties or this kind of uh, uh, like different kind of symbol that you have added in the plot just to uh, provide better information okay next we will do uh, we will generate a box plot but here we will use the c1 method or c1 libraries method uh, the box plot method from the c1 library so here what we'll do we will try to add this at 1 1 position okay so 1 1 position is uh, where so row 0 row 1 column 0 column 1 so 1 1 position is this this is a row 1 and column 1 so here we will add uh, here we will add this plot okay so to generate a plot using c1 you have to call the box plot function or method from the c1 then in x axis here we do not need this uh, transformation okay you can directly provide the data set and provide the x and y axis variables it will generate the box plot in matplotlib we have to uh, do have we do uh, need to transform the data but here you can directly provide a pandas data frame okay so using this sns.boxplot we have to provide in x axis it would be trip tip values uh, and y day because it is a horizontal like a box plot then data is tips and now we want to impose it axis 1 1 okay and order will be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Thursday. Okay, if you generate the plot, now you can see that at this position, this plot has been added. And similar way, we can customize those. Um, uh, we can remove the top and right side spines. We can add the, uh, increase the size of this uh, 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 axis labels and also tick labels. Okay, so again, we are removing the spines uh, at one one, the graph or the plot at one one position similarly we are also increasing the size of the tick parameter setting the title uh, at the bottom okay here the title is day y steps c bond then x axis level y axis level setting the tick levels okay and the legend uh, also calling the legend okay so even if you call here the legend it will show nothing because we don't have any uh, marker that that will segregate the uh, like this box plots in a particular category into based on another category like say gender or let's say smoker status if that you will do you will automatically when you call the legend it will add a default legend but here it is just a unique like for thursday sunday saturday and friday for each uh, so it is unique actually that's why you will not get a legend even if you call the legend 
method here. So if you generate the plot, now you can see that here is small because it is blank actually. The legend, even if you call the legend, it will generate nothing. And now you can see that spines are gone, and also the labels has been added, and the size has been increased, and also added a uh, title. Next, once you generate the plot, uh, the next thing is, and also you can see that uh, earlier, uh, uh, yes, earlier, if you go to, uh, okay, actually we have already modified uh, the take range, uh, this range at a particular in interval, like I have already set it here from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So earlier it was not 0. If you go to the top, uh yeah top where we have added just added this box plot here you can see that the uh, zero level is not there though for y axis it is there for x axis it is not not there but after adding this x ticks it's now here zero okay earlier it was not there that's why i added uh this set x axis this ticks okay so every tick value should be uh, dis uh should displayed uh, in, in x-axis for each plot okay so here also zero here is also zero and similarly after adding the box plot we did that okay even though earlier it was already been added here uh, for for this plot uh, okay yeah for this plot okay now we again uh, added this and so now it is displaying from 0 to 4, 6, 8, 10, 0 to 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. So next is once we you generate the plot, you need you might want to save it uh, using a uh, PNG formatted file or JPG or any other format. I always use this try and accept clause you know, so that uh, uh, if I want if you want to add those plots in a particular directory, you, it will create a directory. If a directory does not exist. Uh, already exist if the sorry if the directory already exists then it will print this statement and save the plot so you to do that you need to import the os library and in try uh, clause you have to give os.make directory and images so it will try to generate the images such folder or directory if the directory already exists then it will go to the accept clause and print the directory already exists uh, okay so we'll directly use the fig from which fig object will use this such a save fig method and inside that we, uh, if if the directory does not exist, it will generate. If it exists, then it will. Uh, we will save this plot in this directory images slash, and the name will be boxplot.png. And DPI is 300. And I'm also setting the bbox inches tight so that it will re uh, remove those additional spaces at the uh, boundary so that it only just uh, give us the whole plot. Okay. So if you do that, if you run this code. It shows that directory already exists. It, it do exist in our in uh, in my case. So here are the images and the name is boxplot.png. So boxplot.png. Now it has been saved in 300 dpi uh, with the name uh, uh, in a, in my images directory. Okay. So next we will go for a uh, another kind of box plot that is called a box and plot or letter value plot. It is similar to box plot but provides more information about the shape. Uh, of the distribution, particularly at the tail position. Earlier at the tail position, what is going on? What is the distribution? It's not there. But later value plot, it will provide that. And it is uh, available with C-bond. So first, uh, we need to, uh, uh, first we, uh, you can separately use, uh, create a figure using the subplots, create a uh, uh, sub, uh, you can create a subplot and whatever the object written over that you can impose that but what we will do here we will impose in our existing uh, this grid okay position and we will add at this position okay so it will be uh, row 0 row 1 at row 1 column 0 position row 1 column 0 okay so from using sns dot box box and plot you can uh, from sns you can call this box and plot method and supply the x equal to tip y equal to day data equal to tips and we are adding this axis one zero one is the row so and zero is the column so at this position one is the row and column position is zero okay and again you can also provide the hue color but i don't uh, want here to add those 
uh, like grouping variable just i want to show how to create a box and pin so order equal to be friday saturday sunday and thursday and if you run this it will add this plot this box and plot now you can see this the distributions uh, uh, at this tail position that was not there in this uh, c1 based uh, box plot in box and plot it is there so it is useful for comparison purpose of the for the distribution okay it also gives the median and also add those such of uh, outlier of flyer uh, dots now little uh, we will may do some little bit customization like improving uh, uh, removing the spines improving or increasing the size of this tick levels and uh, axis levels so again the spine room removal is same and adding title and labels now we will uh, access one zero that means our row position one and column position zero and we can also modify the tick and tick parameters and if you print the figure okay so now you can see the uh, spines has been removed uh, spines are removed actually uh, and uh, this labels size has been increased a little bit now it is looks it looks great because this kind of uh, grading system is required sometimes to make comparison like you want to compare a line plot box plot or something something some distributions then you can position a different position or try to compare with its different variables okay next we'll save this again using the save pick method here i'm not going to use this uh, try and accept clause because i know that i have this uh, directory images and i will save this box and plot dot png because we have added a box and plot just i'm naming this you can name anything so dpi is 300 b box inches tight okay now it's been saved so let's go to box and plot dot png this is our final plot okay so we have customized those plots uh, only we left uh, this blank you can add anything uh, you can add a line you create a line plot box plot distribution histogram you can add anything in any position and that would be the mechanism to position them in a particular uh, place if you know the uh, coordinate like uh, the row and column in index positions okay so i hope you now know that how to create a box plot using matplotlib and cbon and also how to generate a box and plot how to position them how to customize them and you can apply this uh, uh, methods with your own data set uh, so thanks for watching